Cats have a reputation of being frightened easily. So much so it has led to the phrase, scaredy cat. However, some of the things that scare cats the most might be something you haven't considered before. You may be unaware you have been scaring them which has led to cat anxiety. Cats are known for their aloof and independent nature, but even they have their fears. While some cats may be fearless, others may have specific phobias or triggers that cause them distress. Understanding and acknowledging a cat's fears can help improve their overall well-being and quality of life. In this video, we will explore some of the common things that cats are afraid of and the ways in which their fears can be addressed. Some of the things that cats are afraid of include loud noises, unfamiliar environments, and certain types of animals or people. We will also look at the signs of a cat experiencing fear and the best ways to help them cope with their fears. By understanding the things that cats are afraid of, we can ensure that our feline companions are comfortable and happy in their environment. Before we bring you these things which scare cats, we should state this isn't a manual of how to scare a cat. Cats can be timid and frightened easily. Scaring them on purpose will not only heighten this anxiety, but it will threaten their overall well-being and can weaken the bond you share with them. It is also important to note that not all cats are equally scared by the things on this list. Some may even love the things which normally frighten other felines. This stresses how important it is to get to know the personality of your cat. Number 1. Vacuum. Okay, this fear isn't completely unfounded. A fast-moving vacuum could hurt an unlucky cat's toes, and the loud noise doesn't help. But for some reason, many cats aren't afraid of fireworks or moving cars, but when they try to clean the carpet, they get really scared and run away. And don't get us started on robot vacuums. These things are completely bad. Number 2. Startling or surprising play. In the same way, sudden movements or changes in what they can see can scare cats. Even when they are playing. Johnson's take on, cats versus cucumbers, is that the cats are scared because the cucumber comes out of nowhere and they can't see it when it's put behind them. She says, cats can't even focus 10 inches from their face, everything is just a blur. This is because cats' eyes are made for seeing things far away. So they remember a little bit of what was behind them, and when something new pops up, it's only natural that it will make them react. She says that even familiar things can scare cats if they are brought close to them quickly. For example, a toy can scare a cat if it is dangled close or touched to its face. Basically, what you or your YouTube viewers find funny might not be funny for your cat, so try not to surprise or scare them with toys or other things. Number 3. A plant-based diet. Are cats really afraid of a vegan diet? Most likely not. But it's scary to think about what will happen if a plant-based diet isn't nutritionally balanced. Cats are obligate, strict, carnivores. This means that they need to eat meat to get certain nutrients that plants or plant products alone can't give them. Meat is the best way for cats to get the preformed taurine, vitamin A, and arachidonic acid they need, as well as the protein and arginine they need more of. If you don't meet these requirements, it could be fatal for your cat, which is scary. Number 4. Fireworks. Fireworks are scary for cats because they smell strange, make a lot of noise, and disrupt your cat's usually quiet nighttime routine. Cats have very good hearing and smell, so if fireworks sound loud and smell a little funky to us, imagine what they're like for your cat. Since fireworks usually only happen once a year, cats don't have a chance to get used to them. In addition to making people nervous, fireworks also contain chemicals that are bad for them. So make sure to keep cats away from both new and used fireworks. Number 5. Mirrors. When a cat first sees a mirror, it's always interesting to watch. They are either cutely interested or so scared that they are shaking. Who's that kitty? From where did they come? And most importantly, where did they go? Mirrors are hard to understand, but window glass is easy to understand. Animal Health Foundation says that cats and most other animals don't know who they are. This means that they can't see themselves in a mirror, which is something to worry about. 
Number 6. Television, some cats like to get close to their people and watch a lot of TV together. But if your cat isn't used to the TV, the moving pictures and loud noises can really scare them. For strays who just got adopted, watching TV is a totally new and scary experience. Even well-cared-for pets can be scared by what they see on the screen. Even a show with a barking dog could make them run under the couch. Number 7. Statues and stuffed animals, the more real a statue or stuffed animal looks, the more likely it is that your cat will be scared of it. Some statues look so real that you can't be sure they won't come to life. Unless you walk your cat through parks and cities, they probably don't see many statues. But scary stuffed animals can also be scary. Those little button eyes follow you around the room, and your cat isn't fooled by their smiles. Number 8. Collars. Collars hold valuable information that can keep our cats safe if they ever get lost. But try explaining that to your skittish cat. All they see is you trying to wrap a deadly weapon around their neck. Some cats hate collars simply because they're not used to them. But there are also cats that are only afraid of certain kinds of collars. A cheap nylon thing might be fine, but trying switching it up to a pretty leather collar, and it might be too much for your cat to handle. Number 9. Mops. Considering that cats don't like both vacuums and mops, we could say that some cats just don't like cleaning. Mop heads move all over the place and leave behind that awful wet stuff. There are different kinds of mops, but a cat that is really scared of everything hates them all. Who cares if the floors are clean? Number 10. Sunglasses, sunglasses are fine, but don't even think about putting them on in front of your cat. Those glasses that block out the sun cover your eyes and make your scaredy cat nervous. It could be because they're new, like what we talked about above, or because they're afraid you're holding a strange animal to your face. As soon as you take down the offending shades, your cat feels better right away. Number 11. Balloons. When we first see balloons at a party, we might think that they are bright, fun, and happy. They might look like scary flying rubber monsters to a cat. When a balloon is blown up and the air in a room moves, it can move around. This can look like a living thing to a cat. More than that, it was a living thing that could fly. If the cat sees the balloon floating above them, it might think that another animal is about to attack. Like other things that scare cats, the balloon can give them a nasty surprise. A cat's claws might scare off a more common predator, but when they get stuck in a balloon and pop, it can be very scary. This is especially true if the cat is already pretty nervous. Number 12. Change in routine. Cats like to stick to their routines. They like having a set schedule and sticking to it. Then they eat, sleep, and play again. When this routine is changed, it can make them scared. It might not be like the scary jump scares you see on YouTube. It's more sneaky. People start to worry that something bad will happen to them, for instance, if you move their dinner time to a different time of day, they may worry that they won't be fed. They don't die if they don't eat. Which can scare them. But the biggest changes in routine are usually the ones that cause the most fear. This could be getting a new baby, moving to a new house, or starting a new job. Number 13. Feeling restrained, cats are very independent animals. This doesn't mean they don't like affection or want to spend time with their human friends. It does mean that if they don't want attention, it's almost impossible to give it to them anyway. Our relationships with our cats get better over time. It can be good and bad at the same time. Even if they like us someday, that doesn't mean we can't do things to hurt this relationship. Number 14. Being cradled like a baby, we know that your cat is like your baby, but they don't like to be held. Some cat owners hold their cats like they would hold their babies, which can be very stressful for the cat because it can't get away. Let your cat come to you to be petted, but make sure they can leave if they want to. Number 15. Low temperature. Cats don't like being cold and like to be warm and cozy. 
Even though they have beautiful fur coats, these are more to protect their soft skin than to keep them warm. So turn up the heat in your house and make sure your fluffy prince or princess is always comfortable. Number 16. Being stared of. Predators in the wild will give looks that show they are about to attack. They might look like the way border collies look at sheep when they are trying to herd them. We can scare our cat if we look at it too long. They are afraid because you might make them think you are following them or trying to start a fight, but a cat won't necessarily be scared just because you look into its eyes. It has everything to do with how you hold your body and how you look. If you look scary, the cat might run away from you. If you look kind, loving, and pleading, they are likely to feel better. Number 17. Changes, cats are creatures of habit, so when something changes in their routine or environment, it can make them feel anxious or stressed. For example, dinner time is dinner time, and if you miss it, they will definitely let you know. Moving to a new house is another thing that can make cats feel stressed. All of their familiar things are packed up, they have to drive, sometimes for hours. And when they get to the new house, it sounds, looks, and smells very different. A cat has to get used to a lot. A new family member is another thing that might change a cat's routine, pet or person. It could be scary to find out that you're not the only cat that your pet parent loves. Number 18. Being groomed, just like kids, cats don't like it when you brush their fur. Some longer-haired breeds need help from their owners to keep their coats under control. If this sounds like you, there are a few things you can do to make it easier. Pick a time when your cat is calm and wants to be held. Start by petting your cat, and when it's completely calm, start to gently comb through its fur. If your cat starts to get upset, take a break and try again when they are calm again. Number 19. Water, even though not every cat is afraid of water, it's safe to say that most of them are. You've probably seen videos of cats bending and stretching in weird ways to keep their claws out of the bath. And since we're talking about claws, they'll probably also use them to try to avoid bath time. Why are cats afraid of water so much? It could be because their ancestors lived in the desert. Or maybe it's because cats are so good at cleaning themselves that they rarely need a bath. Or it could just be that they don't like getting their hair wet. Most likely, we'll never know, a lot of cats don't like water. Even a few drops on their body can cause them to freak out a lot. It might seem strange for an animal that likes to be clean to be afraid of water, but their wild ancestors might have something to do with it. Even though most cats can swim, many of them choose not to and won't be used to it. This can make people panic and even make them drown, even though cats are very clean, they may need a bath from time to time. This could happen if the weather has made them very dirty. If something dangerous has fallen on their fur, or if they have been hurt. In these situations, you should make sure they are as comfortable as possible. Slowly get them used to the water and reassure them every step of the way. It's best to do it with another person, and it's important to stay calm. Number 20. Tummy rubs, unlike their dog friends, cats don't like having their bellies rubbed. Cats are very careful with their stomachs because they know that this is a weak spot. Because of this, they may lash out with their claws if you rub their bellies without asking. Do yourself and your cat a favor and just scratch behind their ears and under their chin. Number 21. Competition, cats are born to be competitive. If another cat shows up, it's likely that your cat won't be too happy, which can sometimes lead to aggressive behavior. If you already have a cat and want to add another one to the family, try to keep them apart until the first one gets used to the new addition. If your cat has suddenly decided that another cat in the neighborhood is their mortal enemy, watch for aggressive behavior on either side and try to stop the fight if things get bad. Number 22. Spoiled food, cats hate food that has gone bad, which is kind of a given. As was already said, cats are sensitive to smells, and if something smells funny to them, they won't touch it. Wet food goes bad faster than dry food, so if your cat likes to nibble, you might want to give it dry food. Food goes bad faster when it's warm, 
so if your cat doesn't seem interested in their wet food during the warmer months, think about how long it's been out. Number 23. Medicine, if you have a cat as a pet. You know how much cats hate taking medicine. Getting your cat to take the medicine they need to stay healthy, whether it's a liquid or a pill, is not as easy as it sounds. The main problem is that they don't know why, and being forced to take medicine can be very scary to your cat friend. If you don't want to get scratched a million times, wrap your cat in a towel, give them their medicine, and gently but firmly hold their mouth shut. This will help them swallow. No matter how much they dislike it. It has to be done. You could even mix the medicine for your cat with a tasty licky licks treat to make it taste better. Number 24. Not enough attention. We know that cats are hard to understand. One minute, they seem to dislike you, and the next, they want all your attention. Even though cats like their own space, they do like affection from their owners, but only when they want it. When your cat wants to be petted, he or she will rub up against your legs. Make sure you pay attention to these signs. Cats like to be on their own, but that doesn't mean they always want to be alone. If you have to go out for a long time, have a friend or family member stop by so your cat doesn't get lonely. Number 25. Too much attention, if you have a cat, you know that they like to do things on their own. They don't like being petted too hard, and many of them just want to be left alone. Respect your cat's boundaries and don't try to force them to spend time with you if they don't want to. They will let you know when they want love and attention. Number 26. Strong odors, did you think that only dogs could smell strong odors? Dogs have an amazing sense of smell. And it is true that it is better than a cat's. But this doesn't mean that cats can't smell things. They pay close attention to the smells around them and have strong reactions to different pheromones. Cats really like certain smells, like the one that comes from catnip. But the pleasure they get from smells they like can be cancelled out by the fear they feel from smells they don't like. Cats don't like certain smells that are very strong. Some of these are vinegar, onions, gasoline. Some alcoholic drinks, citrus fruits, and others. Some cats are so sensitive that the smell of something in the air is enough to scare them. But this doesn't always happen. Some cats might like the smell of a lemon and even try to lick it. Cats are usually very sensitive to smells, but there are a few smells they hate that might surprise you. They can't stand the smell of citrus, and even though you might like the smell of rosemary in thyme, cats hate them. The same goes for banana, mustard, lavender, and eucalyptus. Many essential oils are dangerous for cats, so it makes sense that when they get a whiff of your bath oils, they will want to run away. They also don't like the smell of strong menthol. Number 27. Cucumber. Cats don't like surprises. Whether it's a noise, a stranger, or a smell. They are scared of them especially. But there are a lot of GIFs and YouTube videos that show surprising things. One of the most popular is to put a cucumber next to a cat and watch how they react in an exaggerated way. We think of cucumbers as everyday things that are not scary in any way. To a cat, their size, texture, color, and shape might look like those of a snake or other natural predator. If they don't expect a cucumber to be near them, they might think someone is about to attack. There are other fruits and veggies that can give the cat the same shock. Some of them are zucchini, bananas, and squash. In general, scaring your cat in this way is mean and can cause unnecessary stress, so it's best to leave these things where they belong, in the fruit bowl. Number 28. Punishment. Experts thinks that punishment is the most important cause of stress and anxiety in cats. Hitting, punishing, or doing anything unpleasant is very bad, because the cat stops trusting the person who gave the punishment. If your cat's behavior is giving you trouble, it's never a good idea to get angry at it. Punishment or other unpleasant treatment only makes problems like aggression or house soiling worse, which are made worse by fear and stress, instead of harshly punishing your cat. You should get help from a trained and certified behaviorist. 
Find out what's causing the problem and deal with it in a way that builds trust between you and the cat. Don't try to punish the behavior away, because that will only make the problem worse. Number 29. Leaving home. Cats can get very scared when they have to get into a crate and leave their home. When you have an indoor cat, the only place your cat knows is inside your home. When they have to be packed up and moved to a new place. They may feel afraid. Changing their environment is one of the most stressful things a cat can go through, so if you're moving them to a new home, be patient and let them get used to the space slowly, like most of us, cats like where they live. So, it makes sense that leaving a familiar place for a new, strange one is a common cause of fear or anxiety. Everything that takes them away from their home base stresses them out. Number 30. Wide open spaces, have you ever thought about why cats like to hide under beds, in boxes, or in the laundry? Experts say that cats are a predator-prey species that likes to hide, so when they are in a big space, they often feel nervous. Honestly, the house of the crazy cat lady, with boxes and newspapers everywhere. That makes a cat feel more comfortable and safe. Large, empty places are very scary. Experts say that owners who don't know this often set cats up to fail by putting food bowls and litter boxes in places like the laundry room or basement. We make it hard for them to get to the things they need most, we often say. Noting that cats may feel like they have nowhere to hide if they have to walk through open rooms with high ceilings. Put the litter box near your cat's favorite spot in the house so he doesn't have to go all the way to the basement to do his business. Number 31. Loud noises, this is probably the cat fear that most people can understand. When your cat hears a loud noise all of a sudden, it might jump or run away and hide for a while. Things like the vacuum cleaner can make a cat nervous and make them run to their favorite hiding places. If your cat isn't used to loud sounds that come on quickly, they might be startled by them. Cats have good senses, and most of the time, they can hear well. When they are outside, they need to be able to hear very well. Cats are often solitary animals in the wild, so they need to be on guard in case a predator comes when they are weak. This means that they are sensitive to the sounds around them. Cats don't quite understand all the modern conveniences that make life easier for people, so there are lots of things in the house that make noises that can scare them. Halloween fireworks, vacuum cleaners, storms, horns, and anything else that can make a loud noise out of the blue. Fair enough, all of these sounds can scare us if we aren't ready for them. It's important to keep in mind that cats are often scared all the time, so we need to be extra careful around them. Number 32. Unfamiliar objects. Even though inanimate things don't really scare us, they might make your cat friend feel uneasy. Smaller things might not scare them as much, but if you bring home a big new piece of furniture, your cat might need some time to get used to it. Putting something of yours over the scary thing may help them get over their fear faster because they will smell something familiar, remember when it was cool to scare your cat with a cucumber? Hope no one does that anymore, because it's not funny to scare your cat on purpose and it could hurt them or you. But it shows how cats are afraid of things they don't know. Cats like to feel safe and secure in their home, so if something new comes in, it's likely to make them feel anxious. And in the case of the cucumber, it's likely not the cucumber itself that scared the cats, but the fact that something new was there that wasn't there 10 seconds ago. This could also be true of your new couch or a friend who was not in the living room when your cat last came in. Really, anything new in your cat's environment. Especially if it shows up out of nowhere, could scare them. Number 33. New pets. A cat is afraid of both new people and new animals in the house. Bringing in a new pet is a process that needs to be done carefully for the best results. Cats usually hide when strange people come over, but if a new animal moves in, they may act territorial. Because of this, you should slowly get new animals used to old ones, there is a reason for the phrase, fighting like cats and dogs. Cats and dogs often get along well, but this doesn't always happen right away. Instead, 
Cats and dogs can become best friends if they get to know each other early on. This is how they will learn that neither of them is a predator and that they don't have to fight for food like they would in the wild. If a cat sees a dog it doesn't know or misunderstands what a playful dog is doing, it can be very scary. Even when cats and dogs get along well, they might say or do something that scares the other. The best ways to help them get along without getting scared are to give them praise and keep them in a safe place. Number 33. Strangers, cats may be wary of guests or strangers for a variety of reasons. Lack of exposure to guests when they were kittens is a frequent cause. Cats may become more wary of strangers as adults if they were not socialized with a variety of individuals while they were young, between 3 and 9 weeks. Additionally, the entrance of visitors is frequently accompanied by additional unsettling events like knocking, the movement of heavy objects like bags or packages, and loud noises. Some cats simply have more reserved or less sociable dispositions or temperaments, much like some people. According to studies, kittens born to scared fathers frequently experience fear as well, although your cat will enthusiastically greet you when you get home, they might not react the same way to strangers. Some cats will flee and hide in their preferred hiding places until the visitors leave. This is especially true if you have many guests around at once because your cat may become overwhelmed. It is ideal if new people wait to try to pet or pick up the cat until they get to know them. Sometimes, the things that terrify cats are the same as the things that terrify us. While we may be able to determine whether a stranger poses a threat, there are some indicators that can cause us to exercise caution. Cats have good reason to be wary because they are a much smaller animal than people. The fact that we will give them food, water, shelter, care, and, most crucially, the assurance that we won't harm them, helps them form bonds with their family. In conclusion, cats can be afraid of various things such as loud noises, unfamiliar surroundings, and other animals. Additionally, certain scents, textures, and objects can also cause fear in cats. It is important for cat owners to be aware of their pet's fears and to take steps to help them feel safe and secure. This can include providing a comfortable and familiar environment, using pheromone sprays or diffusers, and gradually exposing them to feared stimuli in a controlled and positive manner. Overall, understanding and addressing a cat's fears can improve their overall quality of life and well-being. Thank you for watching. Please check our other videos for more amazing facts about cats. Spread the love and until next time.